it isn't every day you come across a real hero. But recently, I met one. This is Ed Custron, a veteran of World War II, 88 years old and full of stories and friendship. As the years go by, uh, we are getting more intelligent. Our army is more intelligent every time because they get the experience. They have more, more modern equipment, uh, computers of all different kinds, and so forth. And they're able to perform operations that they're can be done real efficiently. Ed is one of many veterans at Abbey Park at Mill River in New Hudson. Recently, Abbey Park opened the Hall of Honor. It is a room full of photos, rare newspapers, full of memories dedicated to our local military heroes. I met with Ed recently to hear a couple of his stories. You see, when he entered the U.S. Army in 43, he was quickly shipped to fight the Germans in Italy. And fight he did. It was, we were like 10 feet apart walking in the mountain. It was raining. And everything was quiet. And all of a sudden, the machine guns started. And first guy got killed, four or five guys. First guy got killed, the next one got hit at the bottom of his uh, knees and across his next one belly, and I was the next one, and I got nothing. So these are some of my close calls for being killed. That's right. I want all action out of our country. Let them, let them, we're, we're taking them out over there. We'll wipe them out, keep them over there. And we come back home, it's quiet. His service was courageous and dangerous, but he served bravely, earning him many recognitions, including the Combat Infantryman Badge, a Bronze Star, the Good Conduct Medal. Oh, and there's one other medal we need to mention. Ed was awarded the Purple Heart, not once, but three times. So they put me on a Jeep, these two fellows that were on a Jeep, medical guys, they started driving on, and we're down the highway about a mile or so. And would you believe them? the Germans hit that jeep in the back, close by, and they hit, blew the litter up, and, and I got hit in the back with shrapnel. After I got that knee, I was sore then. Now I'm a little sore. And um, after that, I I don't recall too much because. I know that the next time I felt, uh, I felt that uh, bouncing, and I was on a ship, a medical ship. I knew that. And I, Another story Ed and Mrs. Custerin recall is when he single-handedly took prisoner eight Germans. House. And I, I was able to speak Polish. My parents were Polish, so I knew how to speak Polish. And I threw some words out in Polish if uh, there's any Germans in there, they better get out because we're going to throw half a dozen hand grenades in there. Well, all of a sudden, you, you heard this, Nick ne Seiden, Nick Seiden. And uh, then here, here comes the Germans, and they're draw, pulling out a German officer. And he had a P-38 on it, and one of the, one of the uh, Germans gave me his P-38. And uh, he said he was so fortunate to be able to be bilingual because knowing that if you were in Germany near the Polish border you could speak German and uh, uh, Polish. So having a Polish background, uh, Ed uh, used his Polish language and said for them to be aware that uh, he was going to uh, do some, you know, bombing or whatever. The, one of the German uh, soldiers who understood Polish told his buddies that it's time for all of them to lift up their heads and so they all got up and then that's how he alone, it alone, with the one gun, he captured all of these German Nazis. Indeed, Ed Custron is a hero and those are hard to find. But go to the Hall of Honor and you'll find many more.